Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over what I carry in my diaper bag. The reason I say diaper bag is because my son, my youngest son is no longer in diapers. He is three years old, but yet I still need some essential things, but I don't want to carry around that big bulking diaper bag that I carried around for two and a half years. I potty trained him. I deserve a break. My back deserves a break. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and what I carry to keep myself sane, but to still carry around the things that moms just need. So without further ado, let's get into it. What I carry is this big old book bag. So it looks cute. It's not a diaper bag, so it doesn't have pretty ducks or cute little owls or things like that on it. It's something that I can carry around and still feel fashionable when I carry it around. I think I got this book bag on sale for $3 at Walmart at the end of the last school year. So. It's really practical, it was really, really cheap, and it works for me. It has all these different compartments, which I carry like my cell phone, my wallet, or juice in there, and this one I always carry a first aid kit. And over here, if it's summertime, I carry sunscreen and bug spray. In the wintertime, I usually carry around an extra pair, of, an extra hat, an extra pair of gloves, or something like that. But let's go on and get into this. So it just, simply fastens on here and let me say this when it's just me and Mike out and about I do not carry this I have a purse that I carry I'm not going to carry this around with me everywhere this is just where I take it's when we go out to sporting events for the kids or we go out to dinner with the kids or we're going over to grandparents or visiting somewhere I only carry this when I have all the kids with me so in here I have this little lunch pail and it has a name, it has the name on it because I have three of them. But we got this from the zoo. It's like one of the memorabilia things. And I carry all the snacks in here. Let's see if I can hold it up without dumping everything out of it. But here's all the snacks. I carry three of every snack because I have three children. So there's three little individual bags of goldfish. There's three granola bars in here. There's three fruit snacks and three applesauces. Now, you're probably thinking applesauce is really messy. I usually give them applesauce if we are at dinner and the dinner's just not coming fast enough so they have a spoon. Or if we're out and about and we just happen to like pass a McDonald's or something, I get them straws and I'll cut the straws and just pop them in there and they can literally drink the applesauce without taking the lid off in the car. It is a lifesaver because it gives them their applesauce that they're screaming about, but it also saves the car from having applesauce on everything. So a little hack there is you can take a straw, stab it in the top of the foil applesauce lid and they can and your kids can drink applesauce. <clears throat> I also carry lots of toys. Now my kids do have DS's and tablets but we don't really like to carry them out and about with us because that's a greater chance of them getting lost and them getting broken or God forbid they die. That's a huge chance for a tantrum to occur in the middle of it dying and I don't want that. So we usually leave the tablets home and the DS is home and they get those if we don't have anything to do at home. So I usually carry like toys that they can play with on the table or on the ground. So we have my youngest is super into cartoons and superheroes. So he has the Gecko Mobile, um, Chase's truck, and a bunch of like a little push and it says something. Catmobile. And then the figurines to go with them. I think that there's, yep, Gecko and Owlette in here. Now, those are it for the toys. I carry three cars. That's enough for each kid to have something to push around on the ground. Because if I don't carry three, it's inevitable that one will want something. And I won't have enough for all three of them. And they'll there'll be a huge fight. And that's the last thing I want in public. This bag is to make my life easier. Not to make it where I have to deal with tantrums in the middle of something we're doing. So that's it. That's all I carry for the toys. Now, 
My son is potty trained, but he is not potty trained at night. So I carry a diaper in here. For the simple fact of if we end up staying over at grandparents' house, if we stay too long somewhere and we have to drive home and then he, I know he's gonna fall asleep, I put a diaper on him to save ourselves the having to clean a car seat or having to clean somebody's bed, God forbid. So that's the only reason I carry a diaper in here. But he is potty trained and he only gets it when we know he's gonna fall asleep. And then I carry spare clothes. So there's a pair of sweatpants in here and a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt for the winter. I only carry an extra outfit for my three-year-old because my other two are soon to be eight and nine and they're pretty good about not making messes. Um, they're pretty about good about cleaning their clothes. Obviously they don't have any more accidents anymore in their pants and it's just uh, they're responsible enough and they are old enough now to know that they don't need to make that they don't make messes and they don't pee in their pants but my three-year-old still spills things all over his clothes still has ex accidents every once in a while it just happens so I only care a spare outfit for him and that is it that is all in that's in this book bag that is all you need in my opinion to survive your first aid kit can hold um medicine in it and band-aids in it you need toys and food you do not need all those fancy gadgets that people are trying to tell you you need you do not need to have a tablet with you at all times you do not need to have 500 different snacks a few snacks is perfectly fine the rule of thumb i would say is just to make sure you have something to entertain them something to feed them and something to clean up after them and make sure you have something to entertain them and feed them enough for every child you have and then just something to clean after them for the children that you know make messes. You don't need to make your life more complicated. Mom life is already complicated enough. Try to keep it as simple as possible and just think of things that you need. If you happen to need something else, I'm sure that wherever you are, they're gonna have it. Now, I will say that there's not juice in there, but before we leave, we don't buy juices. We have Kool-Aid and water and flavored water bottles. And before we leave, it's a kid's responsibility to get themselves something to drink. And then I will grab a three-year-old something to drink and we'll pop it in the pockets of the um, book bag or they can carry it themselves. But it's something to remind them and to give them something to do while we're getting little things left like packing up the car or something. Hey, did you get a drink? Well, go do that while we pack up the car so you're out of our hair. So just little things like that. Um, so that's what I carry in my to-go bag with the kids. As I said, that's the only thing I carry when I have the kids. I leave my purse here, take out my wallet, and put it in there. And that's all I need, really, for myself when it's just me and the kids. Um, and then I carry a purse separate when I don't have them. So, do you carry anything different in your to your mom bag, or do your kids need anything different in your mom bag, or maybe you even have a better hack at doing it than me? Please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Bye, guys.